And we want to go in depth on an issue that affects all of us, the price of goods and services. New data shows that certain commodities are seeing a steady price increase compared to last year, even on a month to month basis. 41 Action News reporter Dan Cohen joins us live in our newsroom to share insight from local and national industry leaders on what they're calling concerning trends. This is having a wide impact, right, Dan? Yes, Taylor and Lindsay, it is. Good morning. The Midwest Consumer Price Index's most recent report from March shows prices going up in certain sectors and it's affecting business owners and customers like you and me. Here's a graphic we put together to show those increases. We'll start with a specific food grouping, meat, poultry, fish, and eggs. The average price increased more than 3% since March of 2020 and is up almost 1% since February of 2021. I spoke to the owner of Brookside Poultry. He says the near future will be difficult. A couple hundred thousand restaurants kind of reopen at full capacity all of a sudden. Well, where's that food coming from? So it's going to come down, but I think I think we're all going to be stuck in a situation for the next uh, I don't know how many months of having to increase prices. Well, that's going to have a ripple effect of people going, "Well, why are you charging so much? I'm not going there anymore. I got to spend two dollars more. I'm going to go here where it's only a dollar more." So we're we're going to see a ripple effect across the board of what people are willing to spend. The lumber market is also encountering a supply and demand issue that's driving up prices. The expert we spoke to says it's unprecedented with home builders not pricing new homes until they have the lumber they need. They're capping the amount of homes that they're gonna sell each month because of supply chain issues from lumber to OSB to drywall. Um, so it, it, it affects the biggest wealth builder for the middle class American, the American dream flows right through home ownership and uh, lumber price along with demand for new homes and all the other building products that go into a home have, haven't have allowed the supply side to meet demand. And when that happens, prices skyrocket from home prices to lumber. The average new single family home has seen $35,000 added to the price tag, according to the National Association of Home Builders. Taylor and Lindsay, back to you in the studio. It's a big number, Dan. Yeah. How else is the lumber price spike affecting the housing market? Because it's not just in new homes, right? Yeah, that's true, Taylor and Lindsay. About one in four homes for sale are now newly built. Just to put that into context, historically, that rate is one in 10. And lumber isn't just part of framing homes either. Cabinets, doors, windows, floors. Flooring, they all use lumber too. The current price is up 340% from a year ago and current future markets show that might not come down in the near term. Mm, did you hear that sigh from first time home buyers yeah. watching right now? It's been tough for them. Dan that, and, we, and we've talked so much this year about people doing at home projects and yeah. some DIY things that they, I want to replace this, I want to while I'm right? home and mm -hmm. it's getting more expensive to do that if you haven't already. Right. Thanks, Dan.